Hello, I'm Paula Nicolau from the Portuguese Distance Learning University, uh, Universidade Aberta, and I'll be uh, guiding your study through the main top, the first topic, main concepts within sustainable development. And the main aim of this topic is to comprehend and define the main concepts associated with sustainable development, sustainability, sustainability science and education for sustainable development. This presentation will guide your study and will also give you links to further readings. Now, sustainable development is generally considered a new development model that emerged during the late 20th century, when real in reality the concept is much older. In 1713, Hans Karl von Karlowitz used the German term for sustainable use in his publication on sustainable forestry. And Thomas Malthus, from 1700 to 98 onwards, noted that environmental limits to population growth existed. Now, problems, ideas and practices that are currently classified under the sustainability area have roots that can be traced back for many thousands of years. As we all know, the search for a balance between the demand for raw materials for food, clothing, shelter, energy and other goods and the environmental limits of ecosystems is a constant concern throughout human history. Now, the modern understanding of sustainable development emerged gradually since the 1950s after World War II. It was also during the second half of the 20th century, a period of unprecedented economical growth and scientific and technological innovations, together with rapid population growth, that humanity began to exceed the environmental limits of the Earth, hence destabilizing its equilibrium uh, in the environment and also damaging with damaging consequences for the well-being of current and future generations. Here, the blue marble photo taken uh, in space from Apollo 17 in 1972 illustrates, uh, or illustrated at the time, for the first time, the limits of our planets and stressed the emergency to change. And currently, the emergence of sustainable development was mainly an intellectual answer to reconcile the conflicting goals of economic growth with environmental protection. So, in less than 50 years, sustainable development grew from an alternative view on development towards a broadly acknowledged and formal political endorsed development model. In this slide, I outline the main milestones relating to sustainable development, with, in which I would like to highlight the 1968 UNESCO Conference on Biodiversity that recognized that the global environment was reaching a threshold also, the 1972 UN Conference on Human Environment uh, in Stockholm, uh, which is recognized as the beginning of public and political awareness of global environmental problems. The 1987 Our Common Future, also known as the Brundtland Report, which was published by the World Commission on Environmental and Development, while shared by Gro Harlem Brundtland, former Prime Minister of Norway. Um, and among others, uh, this publication, Our Common Future, launched the famous definition of sustainable development and also succeeded to integrate both the uh, environmental and development objectives. It also paved the way for the United Nations Conference on Environmental and Development held in Rio de Janeiro in 1992. This 1992 UN conference, also known as the Earth Summit, represents the official worldwide political endorsement of sustainability as a new development model, from which two documents came out signed by the 178 governments, the Agenda 21, which is the Global Action Plan for Sustainable Development, and the Rio Declaration with uh, sustainable 27 sustainability principles. In 2002, the United Nations World Summit on Sustainable Development at Johannesburg uh, made the revision and recommendations of the outcomes of the 1992 Earth Summit. Uh, this was where it was considered also the adoption, the need for the adoption of the Decade for Sustainable Development, which was established as the decade from 2005 to 2015, just finishing now. What is sustainable development? 
Well, from the Brundtland report in 1997, we can say it's the development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own. In other words, it is the use of the Earth's surface sur resources, both renewable and non-renewable, in a manner that satisfies our current needs, but does not compromise the future availability of those resources and ends the future of humanity. This definition of sustainable development is intuitively appealing to the common sense of mankind. It is like happiness, some something that everybody wants. But what sustainable development precisely encompasses varies greatly among various stakeholders. Reasons for this variety include the normative nature of sustainability, the different disciplinary and professional background of people dealing with the sustainability issues and also political issues. And for further readings, uh, you should uh, uh, start with this in 2000 et al. in 2015, which is not marked here, but it's at the, la uh, at the end of the uh, presentation. Um, the concept of sustainability development appeared thus focused on environmental issues. However, our sustainable development as a society must also consider other um, aspects, other dimensions, usually the social, the economic and the environmental axis. These three spheres, society, environment and econ economy are intertwined. Any prosperous society relies on a healthy environment to provide food and resources, safe drinking water, clean air for its members, as well as a prosperous economy. Well, models are used to simplify complex realities such as sustainable development. This helps making decisions and act upon them. And various models have been put forward relating to the main considered pillars or dimensions or spheres from sustainable development. Um, some authors besides these three have included a fourth pillar of culture, institutions or governance. The two models that we present here um, are, well, the first one is a model that shows that sustainable development is here at the confluence of the three constituent parts, social, environmental and economy. Now, the later model, nested model, presents a more integrated and holistic view of sustainable development, which places human beings central and does not separate the economy and material welfare from other development objectives, and also which locates society within environment and its limits. Now, Sustainable development and sustainability are two terms oft often heard. Um, sometimes they are used interchangeably, sometimes not. So we might ask, uh, what is the difference between sustainable development and sustainability? Well, both terms should have, first of all, an underlying focus on environmental balance. And then sustainability is often thought of a long-term goal, for example, when we talk about, about a, a more sustainable world. And sustainable development refers to the many processes and pathways to achieve it. For example, sustainable agriculture and forestry, sustainable production, consumption, good government, research and technology transfer, education, training, etc. Um, this means, means that sustainable development does deal with the wide nature of subjects and areas. And uh, this new emerging, emerging area of sustainability science uh, is not a science by any usual definition, in fact. It is usually defined as a discipline that points the way towards uh, a sustainable society. Uh, it encompasses a multitude of subjects of problems that we've seen before, globally interconnected and ends, ends a multitude of transdisciplinary approaches from science and technology to politics and economics to human lifestyles and behavior this new field of science must necessarily embrace social and natural sciences and sustainability science investigates thus the complex and dynamic interactions between natural and human systems and how this can be transformed in a sustainable way based on a long-term perspective. And 
here we suggest you to go for further readings, especially uh, the, the two mentioned here. Next. Now, finally, sustainability science must nurture a generation of leaders who are capable of appreciating the significance of change in global social and human systems that occur over the long term and who choose the path of sustainability in implementing policies on the basis of this understanding. Hence, education for sustainable development has been a field for international education policy making since the beginning of sustainable development debate, which started in 1992 at the Earth Summit. Uh, its importance was confirmed, as we know, by the establishment of the Decade for Education on Sustainable Development, which is now ending from 2005 to 2015, and that has stimulated numerous projects uh, at all levels, education level. And for further reading, we suggest the, T the TSD final report, which is available online on the site. Um, now, also or still on education for sustainability, if we reflect the difficulty or reflecting the difficulty in defining sustainable development, ESD, Education for Sustainable Development, also has no single definition. And often terms such as education for sustainability or sustainability education are used interchangeably. The educational concept of ESD refers in fact to all educational levels from kindergarten to primary, secondary and tertiary education until lifelong learning and consists of different learning objectives, content foci and pedagogical approaches. For example, we may distinguish between education about sustainable development and about uh, and education for sustainable development. The first one referring mainly to knowledge transfer about sustainable development, while the second focusing, focusing more on a transformative, on an active approach to education. And you can also find some more information uh, at the same DSD final report also online. And lastly, it is important to stress, as I've been trying to say <laughs> from the beginning, the importance of terminology. Uh, there is not one, there are, there are many ways of looking at one concept. Terminology serves as a basis for communication within a particular scientific field. Many new terms which have been introduced in the field of sustainable development and they need uh, to be um, understood in the proper way. In, an, in addition, in sustainable development, various terms are used to describe different strategies, actions, effects, phenomena, etc. Movement from usage of inappropriate terms and ambiguous definitions can help us to make more rapid progress in sustainable development science and engineering. Uh, one, suggesting for reading, for one suggestion for reading on this uh, um, aspect is Glavik and Lutman also in uh, the website of the course. And uh, well, that's, that's all for, for this first topic. Um, thank you for listening. I hope that you have good readings. Anything that you would like to discuss, please, we'll be on forum um, every day. <laughs>